In today's episode, guys, we are going to be facing off with the Illyrian Kingdom down in the south with their pretty large army, whilst also trying to deal with the annoying, incessant, really just terrible Labeateans up here as well. Whilst also managing our Suggestica army, getting them back for retraining before finally going for another assault on the Del Mate to take their inland provinces. If you do enjoy this series, guys, a like and a subscribe would really help the channel out. It does really help to get these videos out to more people, and it's very much appreciated. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another RDAI campaign video in RTR Imperium. So Rectum, and today we are going to continue our fight with the Illyrian Kingdom and the Labeateans. It seems like pretty much everyone around us wants to declare war on us now. Where, why have the Scordisci cancelled the alliance there? That's kind of strange. I don't know why. We were allied with them previously. It's really not something I want to get bo bogged down in over here because it's such expansive land. There's no natural borders. And it'll just be really annoying to try and take these because, so if, say for example, we go for Sermion. They'll probably just come and siege down Autariatopolis and vice versa. Like, it's just an annoying fight to fight, really, with the AI over there, which you, we have seen with the Illyrians. I mean, last episode, we took these four provinces up here. We do have the Del Mate going for Pluratopolis, which is fine. I'm not bothered by that at all. Um, so, yeah. That is fine. We are going to take this settlement. We might even take Splonum on the way back, which would stop them actually sieging down Plurata, Pluratai Polis. But yeah, and then in the south, we need to take back uh, Skodra because it is a good settlement. Uh, and we also want to deal with the Labeateans as well. First things first, though, let's go for the Battle of Suggestica. Now, I don't think this is going to be easy. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting, but I don't think it'll be easy. Let's go. Well, the walls are down, guys. So, we are now getting into the city. Probably going to bring both of those units in. See what they do. They might try and be a little bit dodgy, but looks like they're all right. Such a, such a sad time to lose uh, Pluratos there. Oh, what a terrible, terrible mistake last episode to lose Pluratos in the way that we did. Not ideal at all, was it, my friends? Was it? So let's go after the Northern Illyrian Axemen there. We're also going to bring our spearmen through, try and deal with them. I'm going to send my cavalry around this way as well to try and charge them in the back, if we can do. I'll also bring these guys in. Uh, not just one of you, all of you, if you'll fit. Quite hard for them to fit, honestly. <laughs> but that's okay. Right, let's uh, let's get these guys up here. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on. No, no, no. Through that way. Through that way. There we go. Because they're going to struggle against the Axemen because the Axemen, of course, are armor-piercing. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a struggle for them. So, let's, uh, let's come around this way. Let's fully surround them. We're going to bring the Axemen... Facts. Yeah, we'll leave this guy here to protect our flanks. Going to send the Axemen over that way, too. There we go. Perfect. Right. Should be nice and easy from now. So let's go. I'm wondering whether we can actually catch that guy out. That would be good for us. Right. Let's uh, let's uh, do that as well. And we'll get the Axemen into the back of them as well. Looks like they just threw some javies as they were engaged as usual. Which is just very annoying. But that's fine. Not a problem. We'll kill that general. And you guys need to get in there now. Go on, boys. Go on, boys. Right then. All of you guys, let's get you uh, through that way. Okay, are you all going that way? Oh, who have we got there? I don't want you. don't care about you at all. Right, let's go with these guys through that gap. We are now surrounding this unit, so it should be nice and easy. And as you can see, we've just hit the general. Let's go. Perfect. Would be nice to get Pines. Pins. Pines. Pines. Pin. Pines. <laughs> it would be nice to get Pines a few uh, extra bits of experience because this guy's got silver experience. Araya. Uh, Araya Todamos. He has a little bit. So Pines. Uh, would be nice to get him some actual experience too. Right then, guys. Let's get you guys 
around this way. There we go. He's nice and dead. Good. Fantastic. Let's get the generals. Come on, generals. Come on, generals. There we go. Thank you for responding. Nice of you to do so. Let's get the cavalry over there. I'm going to send these two units over this way. And we're going to send the axemen over this way. So there we go. Let's get the axemen over there. Cavalry, in terms of all of the cavalry, can all go over here for now. Just so they don't run through the town center. So axemen are going. Spearmen are going. Hoplites, I'll bring you over this way as well. There we go. Let's speed this up now and we'll get all our jabbies ready to throw into the center of the town. Oh, the pathing sometimes, man. They pathed all the way around this, this way and there to go from here to here. Oh, that is just not what we needed. Not what we needed at all. So let's come forward and then let's get our javi men in the back. Let's go... You guys there, and then you guys, let's get you there, perfect. And then we'll start absolutely destroying them with our javelins. Come on, infantry, we need you in place, guys, we need you in place. Same with the axemen, let's get you in place too. And then cavalry-wise, we'll just get you like there probably would be good. Ready to charge into the men. Glorious, get firing, get firing, axemen, get firing. You're going to get shredded probably for a little bit at the start. Come on, guys. Get going. Start firing your jabbies. Let's uh, move forward. Let's also move the uh, spear line forward, too. There we go. Looks like they're getting absolutely shredded here. That is glorious. And then hopefully we can just absolutely pummel this other unit with javelins. Look at that. Oh, my God. Absolutely fantastic. They are routing straight away. <laughs> Very nice. Right then, Spearman. Let's get you guys charging over here. The javelins will take care of the rest of them. There we go. Glorious victory. Probably lost less men than I expected there. I expected maybe 200 casualties, but we managed that pretty well. So, and Suggestica is a good city, so it is fantastic that we've got hold of it. Very nice. Let's get off this map. And I think what we'll do is just occupy Suggestica because as you can see, he's got 4,600 uh, we'll also smash in that to repair that. Hmm. I'm fine with the Temple of Dionysus here because it's going to be a rich settlement. How much movement points do we have? Let's leave behind the slave Javelinman then. And I think we do go for Splonum. I think we've got to go for that to cancel their taking of Pluriatopolis. Pluriatopolis. So let's go for that one. I named the place and I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Also, when are they going to win this siege? Like, come on, guys. Like, five turns. Have you, like, abandoned that siege more than once? That would be really annoying if they'd done that. But that's fine. Let's uh, let's move our spies now to... Um, I'm just going to have a quick dabble up at Dardania to have a look at what's going on. So they still do have both of those areas. And then we're going to bring you back down over here. Balios, yeah, we'll keep you there. You're actually in a perfect position. Grabos, hmm. Let's see if we can uh, maybe get this done all in one. Is a success. How? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. It never happens, does it? So... <laughs> Uh, and then we've got Manunios. You are up here looking at the score. Disky. Okay, that's, yeah, that's not a problem. I do want to see where this settlement is. Okay, so that's still Rebel. So that one. Okay, yeah. No, they're, they're fine. They don't really. They're chilling, really. Hopefully, they don't come and attack us. Hopefully, they've got other enemies. But that doesn't seem to matter too much to them, honestly. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's... What do we have governing Suggestica? Just you. It's It says 761, but it will get a lot better. You can see farms and poor harvest. No trade right now, so next turn we'll get to see what the trade is like. So it's Because it should start trading with at least Iasium. Uh, Iasium and also Plurati Polis. When Plurati Polis... Um, is no longer under siege. So, yeah, that, that's good. That's good for us. 
Um, you can be the governor of this settlement, Splonum next. I don't mind that at all. But then let's decide what we want to do with these boys. So, oh, we can actually go this way. Uh, I'd rather deal with the RDAI, uh, the Illyrians first. So let's try this. Okay, that just knocked him into the city. So, yeah, that's not ideal for us. Let's go after the Lobeateans then. There we go. They're going to have to accept this as a fight. And yeah, absolute trash. We're going to absolutely destroy them. Let's go. Well, unfortunately, as you can see, guys, our reinforcements came in from here. And I've sent them to run away. So they have chased them with a lot of their units, their javelin men. So run, men. <laughs> run, men, run. Go, men, go. So close. So close. No, 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 Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Go, 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 go. Go, men, go. Go, 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 go. Yes. <laughs> Imbeciles, honestly. Imbeciles. Right. They do have slingers and everything up here. Where are they going, man? Where are they going? Like, what is this? Is this literally that's all that's up here? Because we're just going to charge them. I can't really zoom in, guys, because we do have naked warriors, so that would be against YouTube. So I can't zoom in from this side looking at them, <laughs> let's say. So, yeah, very annoying, though. What are these idiots doing? Why? I've literally just walked all the way from this side of the map, and now you have moved your whole army there. Oh, that is honestly the most frustrating thing. Oh, my God. I'm just going to have to walk my troops about 400 miles back this way now. Thank you for that. I do have the mercenaries in the front because I want the mercenaries to uh, to take the heat to reduce their upkeep somewhat. So that would be a good thing for us. How many have you killed here? Yeah, you've only got one left. So we've killed both of those pretty nicely. So the rest of this should not be a problem. Let's go. Well, I think we're just going to try and use the cavalry here and the mercenaries. I'm not too bothered about the rest of these guys. I want them to stay nice and fresh. So we're going to just use the mercenaries, see whether we can uh, deal with them, get that cavalry out of the way, see if we can deal with them. And then all that's left is just some levies and some spearmen. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to have an issue here. Let's have a look at these guys. Who's running through? You don't get a war cry. You do, though. So let's use your war cry. And let's use the naked warriors. They're already shaken, probably because of the naked warriors. So, yeah, that's going to be good. And then the rest of this cavalry can come and come up this way to deal with them. It's just more Southern Illyrian spearmen and all that sort of thing. They're already ready wavering. Good for us. So I think we can charge them and then we'll be good. Let's make sure we do um, get the general there. This general is right at the front, so there is a chance he will die. So let's hope that he doesn't. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Perfect. Right, mercenaries. Let's keep coming. Keep coming, mercenaries. Let's go. Let's go. And then we've got these guys firing into the enemy, hopefully. Um, I'm, yeah, let's get a little bit further away. We're a little bit close for comfort there. Come on, mercs. Let's go. Let's deal with them. And let's get you over that way, away from the troops. Oh, my God. They're going to chase the cavalry, aren't they, forever? Oh, just, just, just go. Just go. <laughs> this battle's already very annoying. <laughs> Like, AI, why do you do such such things? It's it's really, really frustrating sometimes. I'd rather you just stand your whole army together like an actual proper general and fight us. <laughs> rather than having them all spread out like this. So they're incredibly easy to fight. I mean, it's good for us, like, in terms of the gameplay. But it you know, in terms of the, uh, you know, the campaign map. But it's not good in terms of anything else, is it? There we go. These guys can get in the fight now. Let's go, boys. Swordsmen, ready to kill the Illyrian Spearmen. And let's see if we can get our general crossed over to this side. You guys get back. You guys get back. We'll get the general over here. And then we'll charge them in the back. In fact, we might charge them with these units too. Let's see. Should be enough to actually break them, I would say. So let's see if it is. Let's see if it is. They, they want to uh, engage my general. Let's rally him so he doesn't die. There we go. This should be huge for us. There we go. If we can break him as well. Surely they get overwhelmed. Look at that. How are they only shaken? 
How are they only shaking? They're wavering. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right. Finally. That was better. Right, Mercs. Let's turn around. Let's get into the Northern Illyrian Levy then. These guys should start routing soon. Rather than fighting to the death. There we go. Let's kill them. And then all we have left now is sort of these uh, the slingers and that. So, uh, yeah. We'll go and deal with the slingers. All that sort of thing. In fact, one of you. You guys can go and deal with them. Go kill all of those boys. You guys get there. You guys get here. Where's our cavalry? We'll get you around this way. So who's dealing with them? You are. So let's group you guys back together. And let's go straight for them. There we go. Where's the generals? Yeah, generals, you're fine. Oh, who's that? The Spear Wall Band of Broken. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Spear Wall Band are pretty trash. Let's, uh, let's be honest. You guys should be there ready to fire. Come on, men. Oh, they're going to fire now, apparently. Yeah, the naked warband are not going to take javelins too well, are they? Let's be honest. <laughs> so there we go. Nice. Killed their general too. Very good. Cool. Right, let's get back. These guys should do a good job. There we go. They've just broken them straight away. Easy mode. Fantastic. Glorious victory, my friends. Goddamn the Beateans dealt with. Well, there we go, guys. 205 casualties while we killed 700. And two, what a glorious victory once again, my friends. Very nice indeed. Now the question is, what do we do? I think we just take out the Labeateans quickly. I think that's the play here because sieging that down is not going to be fun. Or we wait six turns and I'd rather make more money and take settlements quickly uh, and make more money that way than anything else we probably will be able to auto resolve this with minimal losses too because all the losses should come from the mercenary troops there rather than anything else so yeah you're also going to go join the army aren't you so let's get you in the army now we'll also bring you across too you're going to be another unit for the army more meat on the menu boys um and yes we are going to take splonum and then let's end the turn and as expected, the Laburni now have cancelled the alliance. So we know we are definitely going to be attacked from the north oh, now. Thanks. Although, if they would accept... Hmm, let's try and give them like 2,000 gold. But they're not 20,000, 2,000. See whether that changes it to balance. And then I give them military access. We might be able to keep it. No benefit but no. Us. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Well, at least the Pionians are offering us an alliance. And normally the Pionians get quite strong in this region now. So, um, oh, yeah, we'll definitely accept that because we don't have many friends right now, do we? We don't have many friends. And another guy as a governor. Let's take them. And what we're actually going to do with this guy is send him to Suggestica. Because that is going to become quite rich. I know it doesn't look rich now, guys, but... I promise you, it will become quite a rich settlement at some point. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be good. How are we looking in terms of auto-resolving that? I think we'll do it. Oh! Well, it doesn't matter. This army is getting retrained straight away. So, like I say, didn't really matter to auto whether or not to auto-resolve that one. Let's leave behind the Akontistai here. We're going to come out and we're going to go... Actually, no. We'll leave behind the levy because they've already had movement points used up. And the Akontistai haven't. So there we go. This should be a lot further to move now. Yes. Fantastic. We're going to go all the way back to Rhizom. Obviously, some of the units will get retrained in Epidauros. And while we're here, let's continue training more Thuriophore and some more Axemen. That'll be glorious. Uh, and we got an Illyrian Noble for pins, which means one command when fighting against Illyrians, which obviously he's going to be doing quite a bit of. So, uh, yeah, good little uh, result for that. Let's repair what we can here. What is that temple? Temple to Tharna, which is fine. Um, let's build the communal farming. Suggestica 2, I kind of want to build the sewers. This is going to be a, a minor city very soon, so that's going to be incredibly good for us this army should now want to go and siege down splonum or of course suggestica so either way one of those two settlements rather than 
uh, these ones up here. I do think that the Laburnie are going to attack us quite soon. So we really do need to just get rid of the uh, Del Mate so we can just 100% focus on them. We've also got this army. I think we can probably auto-resolve this as well. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think we will actually uh, siege that down. Are we training? We are training in there. What about Plurio Pluriopolis? Uh, Pluriopolis would be a good one to upgrade some of the military infrastructure. Because it does have the buildings there ready. So, yeah, let's go with Pluriopolis and build that in there as well. Like I say, we kind of want to build like a little recruitment hub in this region. That's why I wanted to keep Skodra. Because Skodra itself is a really good uh, recruitment hub area. But then let's build in other places. I don't think we've got that much to build in a lot of these places. I will build roads in cities where it makes sense. But places like uh, Enderon, etc. Roads are not that useful. Same with uh, Glindityonopolis. Let's build that in there though. Nerona. Uh, Nerona, where are you? Yeah, Nerona, you're Greek, so you would be another Greek recruitment area. Honestly, with nothing else to build, let's build that so that we can get some more Greek troops. Let's make sure that we are building in the places that we took over, because they have a lot to build, because they were owned by uh, rebels for quite a bit. I, I honestly don't mind spending money here too. I know it's under siege, but I don't think it'll be under siege next turn. Autariato Polis as well. We'll build that. And that should be everything. Apart from Satovia, we can get a shrine to Dionysus. Let's do that. That's going to bring us some more money. Um, Did we get an Acontistai or something as a, uh, a garrison troop? Because I would like to put something in Gl Glinditina polish just in case you never know guys you never know when a rebel's just going to come out of some woods randomly and decide to siege you down so that is why i know it seems a bit overkill like we don't need garrisons in some of these settlements but i do like to have them um nonetheless uh this guy's going to suggestica so maybe once he goes to suggestica we can actually get this unit and put them in there that'll be fine Ooh, you're actually a garrison that we we wouldn't want to be a garrison to, so we've got to take that into account. Uh, but anyway, I think we are good. Let's uh, go for this Siege of Meteon, though. And I'm not going to auto-resolve because I think it would just absolutely ruin us. We're going to try and use the mercenaries once again, rather than our troops, uh, just to reduce them down, and then they be can become um, a decent little garrison unit as we go on with more battles. So let's go. And I've just realized we've taken the general out of a city. I'm trying to remember which one though. Hmm, interesting. Well, we don't need Ime here, uh, but he can maybe govern Skodra when we get to there. So let's go with this anyway, and hopefully we can defeat them pretty quickly. Well, like I said before, I think we're just literally gonna go for the mercenary approach, literally just using the mercenaries and the general because uh, casualties for them don't really matter. So, uh, yeah, we should be fine. You guys, I want you to actually fire. That would be good. We'll also put you on fire at will. So I would like you to throw some javies. Throw the javies. Throw the fucking javies. Like, why? <laughs> I never understand that. You tell them to throw the javies and... Oh, now they're going to throw the javies when they're right next to the unit. Fucking stupid, man. Honestly, what like what is the point of that? That's so pointless. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, speed this up. And let's move on to charging these guys. They are shaken, not stirred, of course. Okay, there we go. Killed them all. Good. Right then, let's get these guys up here. Ready to fight the enemy. I am considering bringing these guys in too. So we'll get them in as well. And maybe this cavalry will bring them there as well. Because they do have a lot of a lot of ammo really when you think about it, don't they? <laughs> a lot, a lot of ammo. Come on, you get over there too, guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. We'll get you guys in. You guys in too. And then the cavalry... 
Uh, some of you are on that. We don't want to do that. But the Celtic Cavalry doesn't have that, which is fine, but a little bit weird. No, 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 no. We'll just go and stand up there and see whether you have the, uh, the range on them. That'll be good. Uh, and then, yeah, hopefully we can drag them off the town square here. Just get through a little bit more. Then you'll probably actually be able to fire, which will be good for us. These guys will hopefully be able to fire too. So let's bring them in. Come on, boys. Come on. Keep moving, men. Keep moving. Get in there. You guys get there. And then we'll probably be in a pretty good position. Ooh, not quite able to fire at the Axeman yet. But that's okay. Come on, guys. Move along. Move along the bus, my friends. Fire at the Axeman. And then I want you to fire at the Axeman too. There we go. Get in the jabbies off. They broke straight away. So that means these guys are going to come off the town square now. Very nice. You guys fight them. We'll send you in as well. And you into the Axeman. Get the cavalry back here. Ready to charge them. And let's speed this up. We don't really need to do much else now apart from charge. Rally the men. There we go. Hopefully we've pushed that unit off the town square. But there's only eight of them anyway. Glorious. There we go. Very nice indeed. Easy victory, my friends. Easy victory. Come on. Kill these guys. There we go. Fantastic. Very nice. 63 losses, 350 casualties inflicted. Seems like you shouldn't have betrayed me, Lebeateans. Does really seem like that. And I think we'll just occupy Meteon, seeing as we owned it before. Unfortunately, we don't have the money to do that. What I'm going to do is just delete these buildings, because we're, yeah, we're probably never going to train from Meteon itself. So let's do that. Then I'm thinking, what do we... Oh, we can leave behind Ime. Where did I take him from, though? Huh. Was it Butho? I don't know. I don't remember selecting him, but obviously we did. So, yeah. Let's attack them. And I'm not actually bothered about that unit. So, we're just going to go straight for uh, this settlement. Piru Styopolis. Right. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Um, but anyway, let's... Uh, Let's do that. Let's bring you back. You're going up to Suggestica. Good. Well, uh, I think we're in a pretty decent spot. I am just worried that the uh, Laburnie are going to attack us, though. Uh, I think they definitely are, let's be honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, we need to get an army north straight away to deal with the Delmate. Looks like they've upgraded a few of their settlements. So these are now both large towns now, which is good. Is there any cities? No, Adassa and Scardona are still only large towns. So it's okay, but it's not fantastic. But I think we can just rip through the Laburni pretty darn quickly if they do attack us. All of their armies are in the north. So we just need to consolidate this area and then worry about the islands later and just take the land off them. So let's, uh, let's end the turn, guys, and let's see what happens. Well, the Illyrians now want a ceasefire, oh, and thanks. absolutely I will accept that. How about an alliance? No, not at all. But what about trade agreement? There we proposal. go. Um, well, you know, there's no more land for us to take off them, so yeah, there's no point fighting anymore. Right, let's go for the final Labeatean settlement. So we're going to go for that one, and yeah, it looks again like they don't have much. You can see the uh, Del Mate have sieged down Suggestica. The Illyrian Kingdom have sieged down over there. And they've sieged down Meteon too. So once we've uh, taken the Labeatean settlement, we'll come back around, attack Tato, Mr. Potato over here. This poor unit is stuck here, aren't they? They can't get out either way. <laughs> oh, Illyrians, why do you have to be so silly? And then we'll try to get to this unit, or even pins over this way. Pinez. We've got our pins, of course. What's the name of this general, by the way? I need to remember that. Bardilis. That's a good name. And then we've got pins as our general over here. Not as good a name as Pluratos. Let's attack that unit. What's in here? Okay, yeah. M maybe not. Maybe not. Although, if we got some Bellovatian infantry... Hmm. They're not great units, but they're better than the other ones. So let's just get them. And that should allow us to auto-resolve this easily. There we go. 
Just go away. <laughs> Just go away. These guys are now prime position to be ready to uh, go into both of those settlements. So here we go. Let's get you back to Ryzon, although the Greek units can go back to Epidauros. You guys go to Ryzon. In terms of the army composition, I would say we probably need more cavalry, although we do have extra... Do we not have extra cavalry in there? No, we're getting more axemen. Yeah, I would prefer cavalry, honestly, but that's fine. Anything we can merge together to make this easier. Oh, the Prodromoi 2 needs to go here. So, yep. Let's do that. Let's uh, retrain all of you. Uh, and the ships. Do we want to retrain the ships? I mean, we might as well. Doesn't make much difference, does it? So, uh, let's get these guys. Oh, that's a bit annoying that we can't... Hmm. Is there anyone here that... Yeah, let's leave the generals out for now and make sure we retrain everyone else. We can leave them without as much armor as the rest of the people. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's uh, see what we want to build. Hmm. Epidauros, we could build something. I think we go for... Although, anything in here that's worthwhile... Hmm. Prodromoi. Yeah, apparently we can't even retrain Prodromoi here, so let's build that so that we can. But again, let's go down to the bottom and get the towns that we have recently conquered and see whether there's anything worth building there. Let's go for in Rider, I think. Oh, Rider would be a good place to recruit from too, so let's build that in Rider. And then in Promona, let's just build the sewers try and get some growth because we currently have no cities how many turns into the game are we we're about 50 turns in and we've not even got a single minor city and look at this Ryzen is just going down in population oh it's such a nightmare um same with epidauros i'm assuming so yeah we need to stop relying on training in Ryzen, but it is the only place where we have that tier of recruitment hub like, from the settlements we started with, like, none of them have that. Let's see, what's this one have? Yeah, one. Three. Like, that... <laughs> like, Nestos doesn't even have one. Narensopolis, do you have one? No, you don't even have one. So this is the only place that we can actually train and retrain these units. Well, what I think we do then, going forward, is... We only retrain in Ryzen. We don't train any more units. We just retrain. And then in Epidauros, we'll train. We then need somewhere else where we can train Illyrian units. Or we just go full Greek and start getting Isaians. So, yeah. I mean, I, we can train here, okay. How about Tragurion? Yeah, we need to get to level 2 in Tragurion ASAP. Should have probably done that slightly earlier. But that's okay. We'll do that next turn. So, right then. Let's end the turn there. Nothing else to really do, I don't think. So, uh, let's see what the Illyrian Kingdom decide to do. Well, there we go. We've got our army back ready now. So, let's get them out of here. Might even be worth... Hmm. I don't think the ships is actually going to make it any better. So, let's go this way. We'll go through here. We'll grab these units too. How many? We've got six slots. So that's four, five, six. There we go. Perfect. Let's sort all of those boys out. And we're going to go and try and fight Manunios up here. As you can see, his siege down. This is a problem now. Like I say, Ryzen is the only place we can train these troops apart from the Greek ones. So, yeah, we're not going to train anything else in Ryzen anymore because the only way we're ever going to get this to grow is if we just enslave every single settlement ever. So, that's what we're going to do. But, um, yeah. Ooh. Got two noble spearmen in this, uh, in that, in that settlement. That is not good. That is not something that we, uh, <laughs> that we want to, uh, really see, honestly. Um, what have we built? Glinditonopolis does have the next level. So that's good. We can actually start going up the recruitment ladder with them. But is there any point really when it's just going to be AOR as well? Uh, Narensopolis 2. Let's 
go for what we said we were going to do, which is get the level 2 in Rider. And then, where else was good? Yeah, Satovia, let's build that in there. And, yeah, even you would be good, uh, Promona. But yeah, let's build those in there. And then, Eption Salona. Let's make sure that it is upgrading and growing, because... Like I say, we really need to grow these settlements because we have no cities. <laughs> no cities whatsoever, which is never good. But um, yeah, that's fine. I think once we've taken the Liberni land, all of those enslavements will really upgrade a lot of our territory. So yeah, it's going be, gonna to be incredibly difficult. Incredibly, incredibly difficult. Because we need to get up to large city to get to level 4. Which, look how far off we are large city. Like... These settlements are tiny. We are 50 turns into the game. And these settlements are all around 2,000 population, which is absolutely hanging. That is terrible. <laughs> that is genuinely awful. So, yeah, we need to take the Liberni land, and then we need to take the richer, more fertile land up here. That will really help us, you know, actually be able to recruit and retrain in one more place other than just rise on. <laughs> 1,800. That is just just absolutely hanging. But anyway, let's get on to this battle, guys, for Perustiopolis. Yes, let's go. Well, there goes the walls, guys. And I'm just going to charge the general into the slave slingers. I think they'll be uh, fine. I think they'll be able to uh, do a good job on the slave slingers. Then we're going to get our mercenaries in as well. And then we have to fight the Illyrian noble spearmen who... We have not had access to since the very, very start. These guys are really, really cool. Just look how good they look. They look fantastic. So, uh, yeah, should be uh, a nice and easy, uh, nice and, sorry, nice and difficult job for us <laughs> to fight those guys. We've broken them. Fantastic. Let's go and let's get the uh, Thuriophoroi in here too. And then we'll get you guys which you guys can go around this way with all of the uh, mercenary troops when they get time to go through there. Well, the good thing about the noble spearmen is the fact that they don't have jabbies to throw. So that's a, that's a nice change for us for once. Let's get these guys war crying straight away. Looks like they are going to go for the old charge. Let's get our Thurio Foroy through then, ready to fire at them. I'm hoping we can fit all our uh, cavalry in here too. So let's... Oh, come on, guys. Just fit somewhere. That'd be good. And then uh, let's see if we can fit these guys in here firing at the enemy. Can the 304 I reach from there? Maybe not, but get them slightly further forward. So there we go. Now you guys can fire. Fire on the enemy there. Hopefully they uh, do so nicely. You guys are going to be firing from the side and then the 304 I should also be firing. So, there we go. Fire at the enemy, please. Watch them sprint forward and not fire. Gonna have to hold them again and get them to fire again. These guys, like I say, are a very tough unit. So, we do need to use as many javelins as we can. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now we fire again. Now we fire again, guys. Now we fire again. There we go. Now we fire again. Fire again. Fire again, please. There we go. That's better. Glorious. All the javelins coming in now. Look at that. Ready for one more volley from the Thurio Foroi, and then we'll charge them. But wow, this is going to be brutal. Oh my god. Oh my days. That was insane. Nice. 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 These guys say they're fighting to the death, but uh, yeah. They are already dead. Wow, look at that. That was glorious. That was glorious. Glorious, glorious. Stop firing, guys. Stop firing. There we go. Fantastic. What an absolutely glorious battle. Oh, did not expect it to go that well, but um, javelins are pretty strong, guys. I don't know whether you heard. <laughs> that was insane. That was so good. Anyway, back onto the campaign, man. Well, I think let's enslave. Like I've said before, we need to be enslaving just so. Literally, the... the like, just so that we can continue um, growing these cities. Secondly, let's go here. 
And I don't think I'm ever going to recruit from this northern one. Because it's just a little bit too far away. So, And it's so small now. Like I say, we need to get up to large city before it's even relevant for recruitment, really, for us. Um, because I'm not bothered about the AOR there. We're going to just pop a watchtower in there so we can see what's going on with the Dardanians. And then we're going to join our troops back up. Let's uh, auto-sort them. I don't know why they're so unsorted all of a sudden. Let's get the Acontistai in there. Because we definitely need someone in here for now. Then we're going to come down here. Knock them back. Let's just auto-resolve that. Shouldn't be bad. Yeah, 78 men. Then we're going to attack Skodra. Don't think they have rams yet. No, they don't. And I'm hoping this army is going to come and attack us. I don't know whether they can actually get around there. But if they can't, we'll take Skodra and just block off the bridge. Or one of the bridges. Or maybe even take Lissos. Which is still only a large town. Oh my god. <laughs> Everywhere is just so, so weak, man. So weak. Oh, this is hard, 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 hard to get them up to any sort of decent level um, of settlement. Um, in fact, it's, it's almost impossible with Rise on because we have to recruit there and retrain there all the time. So yeah, we definitely need to upgrade our AOR capacities. It's just finding the right places for that. I think in between episodes, I will have a look around at our sort of recruitment thing. I, that's why I wanted Skodra to become a good one. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, Ryzon is there. Epidauros. I mean, Enderon would be good, but it's not even a large town yet. Um, same with Meteon's only a large town, but it's got no population. That's why I would try upgrade Pluriopolis. Oh, Daoson, actually. Yeah, we're upgrading that too. So that's a good one, actually. We'll uh, keep an eye on that and build some more AOR units in there. But anyway, let's end the turn, though, one more time, guys, and see where the Del Mate decide to go or the Illyrian Kingdom decide to go. Either way, doesn't really matter. Well, interestingly enough, this big army hasn't done anything at the moment. So I think we're going to just auto-resolve that. 48 men lost. Not a problem whatsoever. We still have a really good core uh, of our army here. Probably going to just go for Lissos, honestly. Skodra is back in our hands. And you know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to build a recruitment hub. Because, like I say, <laughs> Skodra is a good one for a recruitment hub. So would Lissos, actually. So, taking Lissos would not be the worst idea. And then trying to get a ceasefire with the Illyrian Kingdom. Whether we do get a ceasefire or not, though... Completely different question, but I think we go after Lissos at the very least and just leave them the uh, the initiative. They can do what they want. They won't be sieging down all Kineon anymore because, of course, it doesn't border any of their settlements. I don't believe. I think it cuts off there. So, yeah, good for us. Um, and then, obviously, the Del Mate up here still sieging down. How far can we get? Not far enough. We did put a, a guy in there. But yeah, he's not going to be able to hold off this. <laughs> They've got four rams now. They might wait to see if they get five, six, seven, eight rams. But I doubt it. I think they're going to take the settlement. There's Daoson that gets level two. Awesome. So that actually means now we can actually recruit an AOR-based army, which will be good for us. So let's start doing that. Because like I say, we don't want to be training in Ryzon any more. How about Nerona too? Yeah, there's nothing we can train in there. Over here, let's get the Epibartai and let's get some Prodromoi as well. What about Nestos? Yeah, that's okay. Let's see what else we can build then. Promona's a good one for... Hmm. Promona, again, would be okay to be a recruitment hub. But let's have a look at Delmium, Yo, you're still building that, are you? That's fine. Autoriati Polis. Hmm. Yeah, we've still got 12,000 gold. So let's uh, prioritize around Ryzon. Ryzon is building. Skodra's building. What about Meteon? We've just taken that back. So it would be good to get a few things. I think I will probably build a road in here. So we can get through this gap a bit quicker if we need to. Enderon as well. Let's actually start... You know, filling in the gaps of our roads where we don't have roads. 
It's definitely going to help us out in the long run with moving, having to move armies so far back uh, into uh, other places. So, yeah, I think that's going to be better in the long run. Anything worth it over here in Sorota? No, not really. Iasium, again, not really worth it. Splonum? Splonum would be another good one. So, yeah, we could go for that there too. I just don't want it to be such a mess. I want kind of regions where we have good areas to build in rather than just random little spots all over the place, which seems like what we're doing at the minute. But in the long run, it will it will be good for us. It'd be nice to just be able to recruit like some AOR troops in here, for example. And while we're there, I might in fact get another spy and just check where the spies are and what they're doing. I think you're in a perfect place, so I don't want to move you. Uh, what about Grabos at Splonum? Yeah, we don't need you in Splonum anymore. I think we can um, come across this way. Let's have a look at that history. Apparently, the history settlement is shrouded in mystery, my friends. But uh, there we go. It's Kelia. It looks like they've taken this settlement too. Is this Rebel? That looks like Rebel. Yeah, that. see, that is a good one. That has gold, copper, and iron, which is very, very nice. Look at um, Ayasia here. Merchants and trades medium, which is decent still. A lot better than low, which a lot of these settlements are, as you can see. This one has iron, though, as well, which is good. Um, but yeah, I'm glad the history and stuff has taken. And they've actually taken Poetivio now. Pal Poetovio, which is very good for us because I want to take that land off the Laberni. Um, in for our plan against the Laberni, though, I don't want to go there at all, really. I want to come through this region, just cripple them militarily by taking these two settlements. So Scardona and Idassa are both uh, big recruitment hubs. So again, that's another area where we can build up a recruitment hub, cripple them uh, militarily, and then come through and take whatever land they've got up here, etc. Then go on to the islands right at the end. That is going to be the plan very nice but let's have a look at the other spies then we've got you are here hmm wonder whether we can see more if we come this way looks like we can would be nice to have some watchtowers along this edge here honestly uh, and up there too so when we get chance i might do that with one of the generals one of the spare generals that gets popped out uh, and then finally, we do have you in... Yeah, we have one more spy, don't we? Cletos in Cesarethos. Yeah, you're going to be fine. I'll leave you there um, for now. So, good. Well then, guys, I think we're in a pretty decent spot. So I think we'll end there. If you did enjoy, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And I will see you all again on the next video.